This is the true story of seven strangers living the good life in a beautiful Florida beach house. The cameras are capturing their every move and every mood in the beach party of life. The parties are crazy. The people are wild. And it all starts right here, right now. Daytona! We were just playing this game. I, I was kicking Murph's ass. Oh, what's that noise, bro? I don't know. The generator's probably going out again. All of a sudden, the lights went out. Oh my god, guys. My hair dryers won't work. It's gonna dry all weird now. I'm gonna get lumpy. At least it'll match your ah. ass! <laughs> Boom! Whatever, jerks. Where's, where's Susie? She's supposed to do the thing with the gas. Dude, where is she? I haven't seen her in like two days or something. I'll do it. Damn, this is one job. How hard is it to put the gas in? That is heavy. I'm going to kill Susie. The network is permanently unavailable. Please go to the nearest emergency aid station located at she never picks up. She better not be f***ing around with that D-bag from the pizza shop. The one with all the tattoos. I f***ing hate that guy. Some tough s***. I mean, I'm all about Steph, but I mean, come on. Pick up the damn phone. You said she loves you. No. I said she loves the way I smell. I'm the artist. And this, this is my masterpiece. A little chunky? I just lost 10 pounds. No, she's always that no one does anything for her, so I, look it, I'll make you some soup. And she started yelling at me for no damn reason. I'm not talking about your ass or your diet. I'm asking you if you want some chunky chicken soup. Gross, no. You might as well just throw it out then. All right, you throw it out. I'm not throwing the soup out. You can you throw it out. It out. I'm you not gonna throw, throw the soup no. out. You can- I'm a girl of the house. I'm supposed to be the queen of the house. And he wants me to like, do everything. Fine, throw the soup out. Throw and you will. out too, you're trash. Oh, what? We forgot this. Seriously? Dude! Sorry, bro. You're f***ing on my call, bro. He has his own thing. I don't really ask about it. Oh, damn it, Susie! Jeez. So, Tony wants to have dinner with me tonight, right? And I just, I just don't know. I mean, he's really hot, but like, he's supposed to be going out with this Steph girl, but she's a total bitch. What I do is uh, I do my thing, take care of myself, make sure I give everybody something to look at. Dude, come on in, you look like shit. I was freaked out by that guy. He comes in here dressed in his big jacket and hat. And Dude, I don't know, like Gandalf walked into our house, right? I'm so glad I found you. I've been searching for weeks, there's, there's nobody out there. Oh man, you have come to the right place, buddy. I offered him a beer. He doesn't want a beer. Who no, doesn't drink a just beer? Just some water, please. Water. Follow me. We got. We keep it in here. What the fuck, man? That's my hair gel. Don't yell at me. Hey, I'm sorry. It's expensive. I'm sorry. I'm trying to look fresh for Jesse. I'm gonna run some hardcore game tonight. Sweet man. Good luck with that. Let me tell you though. Don't tell her you like soup. Um, gentlemen, the glass of water. Was it just me, or for a a, a guy who's been out uh, and about? Like dying for water. Did he not look like he had a really great head of hair? I'm sorry, Blair. We say that in case of emergencies. Go bring your problems someplace else. Speaking of problems, you're using way too much of that damn hair. Wow. Gel. I'm sorry. Seriously, bro. The whole tube is practically gone. What the? F my hair gel. You don't do that with my fucking hair gel. <laughs> my shit. I think we should just go to the bedroom right now. I'm a good looking. Disease free, gentlemen. When you're, well, available. I looked in her eyes like I normally would. Pretty much took care of it. Oh, Tony, you're so good with words. It's turning me on. Well, let's go. I'll make you my mom, Alisa. You're so bad, okay. Hey bro, is it ready yet? Yep, nice. Alright buddy, put it on, on 
Fox too. I'm if anyone's out there, too. I've survived and continue our life on this planet. I have plenty of food for up to three people. Three. If you can get a hold of me, three. I'm at 39.